Hi, my name is Avinash, and welcome to the Web Analytics course. Um, we're very excited to cover some of the basics when it comes to Web Analytics. And the very first one, perhaps, is why do you need to do Web Analytics if you're doing anything in the web? For the longest amount of time, we have made very faith-based decisions when it comes to our marketing, our customer service, our uh, advertising and other kinds of activities that companies do and a lot of it was dictated by the fact that we didn't actually have access to a lot of data. Um, it was or it was very difficult to get data but one of the coolest things about the web is that you actually have access to near infinite amounts of data um, usually not for a lot and so one of the reasons that you want to use web analytics for is that the simple act of, of adding a tag to your website allows you to have access to an enormous amount of consumer behavior when it comes to your digital existence. That means that you get a really deep understanding of what is working, what is not working, what do consumers like, what don't they like, where do they come from, where do they not come from, and other kinds of things, and it allows your company to make very smart decisions. For example, if somebody walks into a Chevy dealership, here in Santa Cruz, you probably have very little idea about what caused that person to come to the Chevy dealership. But if somebody lands on Chevy.com, on the other hand, um, they bring with them a lot of trace of what caused them to come and engage with you. Um, for example, they might have searched on Google for a particular keyword and now you have access to that insight. Or they might have come in response to a television commercial that you ran and visited your website and you have access to that. So a lot of this is a really great way to understand effectiveness of how you spend your money, which in turn helps you uh, do very smart things when it comes to your consumers. Um, not only that, but it also opens the mind of your organization much wider. Maybe you believe that the only thing you can do on the Chevy website is give information that drives people to the dealer. But in reality, people who will engage with you online are going to be there not only to go figure out where the nearest dealer is, but they could be existing customers looking for help, or it could be car enthusiasts who want to customize their cars and trick them out, just play around um, for, and configure a car they might want to buy six, nine months from now. Or they might just be people who want to understand a lot more about Chevrolet's philanthropic efforts. And at the moment, all of these things are very difficult to be met in an offline world, but with online you can. And, and that's where web analytics plays a really key role helping understand why people come to your website. Once they are there, what is it that they do? And at the end of it, do they leave happy? And did you make money? Both of those questions get answered very quickly. So now that you're very excited about web analytics, let me formally define what web analytics actually is. Um, and in my books, the way that I have defined web analytics is it's the analysis of qualitative and quantitative data about your website and your competition to drive continuous improvement about your digital presence, your customer needs and prospects, which translates into great and fabulous desired outcomes, both online and offline for your business. And that's more of a formal definition of web analytics. And let me, let me sort of cover a couple of these pieces that are really, really important. And the very first one is very often web analytics is mistakenly believed to be just the art of logging into Google Analytics or Adobe Web Trends or IBM and analyzing all the quantitative data you have related to the clicks. And that is indeed a big component of what Antics is all about, but it's also about answering the question about why people do what they do. And that's where sort of qualitative analysis around surveys and usability tests and those things come into equation. One of the cool things about the web is not only can you analyze your own performance, we can actually analyze how your competitors are doing, which is very, very cool. You, there are paid tools that you can use. There are uh, free tools you can use. But if you're competing with somebody on the web, you can actually go get their data, and you can go understand how they are successful or not, and learn lessons from what they are doing, and go figure out how to change your strategy in turn. It's also very important to understand that you can serve the needs of people who want to buy from you right away or donate money from you right away, but also people who are in the process of just considering, and that's the difference between kind of people who are very close to becoming customers versus people who are going to be prospects and it's going to take them a while to get converted. 
And the last thing, of course, is all about understanding that web analytics does not simply affect what you do on the web on mobile phones, tablets, or desktop and laptops, but actually what happens to your offline existence. If you have a call center, that will be including web analytics. If you have an actual supermarket store or a dealership, those things would be included. So web analytics at, it, at its holistic level is the art and science of qualitative, quantitative analysis of your data and your competition's data in order to drive improvements to the consumer experience online and to drive business outcomes online and offline. And that's what makes it so very exciting.